Hey, yo. Let's get the prediction in. Saul Canelo Alvarez. Sergey Kovalev. Who wins the fight? And who becomes the WBO light heavyweight champion? Can Alvarez successfully move up? Now two divisions and take on Sergey Kovalev and T-King Fight News. We got more on this. All right, man. Well, Canelo Alvarez, we got the tail of the tape right here. Alvarez Kovalev. Canelo, 29 years old. Sergey the Crusher, 36. Canelo has 55 fights. Kovalev with 38. You know, if you want to look at these resumes, Sergey Kovalev has fought some of the best light heavyweights in the world. He beat Bernard Hopkins. He beat Jean Pascal twice, who, who still finds a way to grab a belt. But in this day of boxing, I mean, it is what it is. They, they're just giving him away now. But that was like a vacant interim WBC title. But the real champion is now Arta Better BF. So he's another guy in the wings that'll be paying close attention to this fight. Knockouts. Canelo 35. Kovalev 29. Most notably, the knockout victory over uh, highly touted Anthony Yard, who, oddly enough, had found a round where he hurt Kovalev badly. He had him hurt to the body, to the head, but could not finish him off. Kovalev recovered. And he boxed brilliantly afterwards. I gotta say, he got hurt and he rebounded like a champion. He bounced back in that fight. When it all could have gone south. And if Canelo has a moment like that. Where he's got Kovalev on the back foot. He's got Kovalev thinking twice. And he's going to the body. Canelo can, he, he can win this fight. He can stop Sergey Kovalev and, and become, you know, truly an all-time great. And it, it might cement him. We have to talk about this now. This fight may cement Canelo Alvarez at the top of the pound-for-pound pound list. He would have been a champion at 154, 160. I don't really count the 168 title. To me, that was just a cherry pick. But if he captures a real title here at 175, WBO belt, once held by Alidia Alvarez, right? One of the one of the belts that Andre Ward vacated. If he captures this one, he's gonna be undeniably top. One or two pound for pound, I, I I give it to him. I would have to give it to him if he can beat Sergey Kovalev. And look at the names on his resume, man. Canelo Alvarez has fought a who's who in boxing. Hasn't really ducked a whole lot of smoke. I know there's a lot of people clamoring for the Charlo fight. Charlo might get next. Charlo might get next. If he wants to come over, you know? So that is what it is. Canelo's only lost one, Kovalev lost three. Three losses of Kovalev. I believe include one to Darnell Boone. And two losses to Andre Ward. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the first one being very controversial with Andre Ward, close decision, 
I think most people agree that could have gone either way. Um, and Sergey Kovalev, man. I'll tell you what. With Buddy McGirt in his corner, Sergey Kovalev has done a complete 180. He's done the turnaround. He's been able to use his jab more effectively than I think I've ever seen before. Um, technically, he's been very good in the ring. He's got a decided reach advantage. He's got a height advantage. He should have a weight advantage. He's the much bigger man. He's the much taller guy. Kovalev should be able to take Canelo and win his share of rounds. Canelo's going to have to push the pace and fight Kovalev. He's going to have to fight him. And honestly, something about this fight well, when I break down the styles, I see Kovalev having a slight advantage. But when I break down determination, will, aggression, I see Canelo doing well. But boxing is a little bit about more than that. It's about IQ. Canelo has an underrated boxing IQ. Stamina not always there. He's shown he can move to 168. He hasn't shown any kind of experience at 175 to jump right into the lion's den with a Sergey Kovalev. It's, it's, a, it's an astounding fight. It really is. It's, it's not a cheap victory. It's not a cherry pick. This is legit. Canelo's five foot nine in height. Kovalev is six feet, five centimeters in reach advantage for Sergey Kovalev. Who do I pick? End of the day. They say a good big man beats a good little man. I know. Co I know. I know. Canelo ain't no little man though. And I, I, yo, Canelo's been burning me. Because I picked Eris Lani Lara against Canelo. I may have picked Austin Trout against Canelo. But I knew something funny was going on with that Austin Trout fight. Uh, I already knew that. I, I never picked no Danny Jacobs. Nah, man. Didn't pick no Danny Jacobs. And I gave Canelo a whole lot of credit for beating up on Danny Jacobs, man. He got that victory and he earned it. And Danny Jacobs was a formidable opponent. He was a guy arguably beat Triple G. Uh, I believe Canelo did beat Triple G the second time around. Um, now making some history here yet again. And for me, I would go with the upset. I gotta say, something about Sergey Kovalev tells me he's not gonna let Canelo get on the inside so easy. He's going to box on the back foot. And Canelo is going to have a whole lot of challenges to get on the inside of Sergey Kovalev. If Kovalev can just keep distance, he can make Canelo miss, make him pay. That's all he needs to do to win the fight. If he gets tired, if stamina sneaks in, if, if Canelo is able to get to the body, he can change the fight. He's got the power to change the fight to the body. But will he be able to get there is the question. I think Sergey Kovalev will be very focused for the fight. You know, he's been active, the more active fighter. Just fought Anthony Yard. You know, got through that fight pretty clean. You know, this is this is his first mega mega payday probably making more than he would ever dreamed probably making more than Andre Ward did um, in any of their first two fights and I think I got Sergey Kovalev in this one man I think I got Sergey Kovalev by decision barring a late knockout I would take Sergey Kovalev 
by decision. And I would, I, you know what? I don't think Sergey Kovalev is stopping Canelo. And if I really wanted to bet on this fight, I'd take Kovalev by decision and Canelo by decision. Because you know, Canelo always got a fucking planted judge in there that's got that's already got that card filled out. <laughs> so you know what? That's how I would play the fight. But I do think Kovalev has the edge. And he's a bigger guy. He's he, technical boxing. He's right there with Canelo. But this is a this is a, such a this is a tough fight to call. A lot of people think Canelo going just going to make it easy work. A lot of people think it's an easy work. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy work. It's not an easy fight. That's why I'm picking Sergey Crusher Kovalev to beat Canelo Alvarez. But he's got, you know what? The one thing I don't like about Kovalev, he's got all these distractions around him. He's got all these court cases. He's got, you know, women. The, these women who, you know, he, if he beat up on them or not, you know, this shit doesn't look good at all. But that's besides the point. That's outside the ring. I'm going to assume Sergey Kovalev is focused as he was in the Anthony Yard fight. If he's not focused, that changes everything. So I'll leave that where it is. My pick, I'm just looking at the styles. Looking at what Kovalev does in the ring, he's going to give Canelo problems. Canelo will need to get on the inside. This is not a fucking uh, Rocky Fielding. This is a two-time light heavyweight champion that's fought some of the best fighters and some all-time greats on his resume. Andre Ward, all-time great. Nearly beat him the first fight. Bernard Hopkins, all-time great. Shut him out. Um, those are really his two most notable fights. The two wins over Jean Pascal, yeah. That's there. And it is what it is, man. I got... I got Sergey Kovalev in this fight. That's it. I'm picking Sergey. I'm picking Crusher Kovalev. It's E. King fighting these. Let me know what you guys think. Could this be a huge mistake for Canelo, who had Triple G begging for the fight? Or could it catapult him to the top of the pound for pound? T King fighting these. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we gone, man. Peace.